The Scholar Statesman Award celebrates outstanding leaders who exemplify the idea that sound scholarship and discerning knowledge of history are essential to wise and effective policy and to the advancement of peace and security in the Middle East. You, President Rivlin, are just such a leader, both a man of ideas and a man of the people, a scholar whose knowledge of where you people have come from guides you in setting a path for the future. A statesman whose honesty and integrity are above reproach. At a time of anger, division, and intolerance, you are a powerful voice of tolerance, unity, and hope. Therefore, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Washington Institute, it is our distinct privilege to confer upon you our highest honor, the Scholar Statesman Award. Congratulations. As long as we don't have peace between the people, it is really something that cannot bring us to real peace, to real understanding, because we can say two states for two people, one state for all the people, federation, confederation, we can do a lot. But first of all, we have to build confidence. I try to say so to many, many um, American presidents. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was talking to Obama at the time. I was talking to Bush at the time. Clinton, uh, very good friends of my family. And uh, of course, I met Obama. And we had a lot of discussions. Uh, we did not agree about everything. But we agreed that we need to find the way in order to build confidence. I, I tried even to really uh, convince uh, uh, President Trump, that uh, confidence, building confidence, you cannot get it by making a deal. You have to have confidence with somebody. He understood. He wants to learn more. But we have, no one understands it in the region. All I would like to say that democracy is democracy. Israel is a Jewish democratic state, not less Jewish and not less democracy. We even said that no one, even 120 members of the Knesset, the whole Knesset, cannot change the, uh, um, the, the nature of Israel as a Jewish state and cannot change the nature of Israel as democracy.